Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today I'm going to transform Anna from Frozen into a fairy. I already made an Elsa fairy using hot pink and light pink Play-Doh, but for Anna, I'm going to use blue and green Play-Doh. The first thing I'm going to do is make Anna's fairy dress top, and I'm going to do it just the same way that I did it for Elsa. So just kind of cut out in some rolled out blue Play-Doh, a house shape. And then I'm going to rough up the edges using this Play-Doh cutting tool. This will give the shirt more of a natural nature look. Once all the Play-Doh is trimmed up, you can place it on our Anna doll. You want the top of the fairy dress to be pretty form-fitting, so press the Play-Doh in tight to her sides. Then I'm going to take a piece of rolled out green Play-Doh and we'll use this as a ribbon. So just wrap it around her neck and in the middle you want to attach it just to the corner top of her dress here. And then it looks more like a halter top. And in the back you just want to wrap the two ribbon strings around just to make it look like it's knotted. Then we'll cut out just one more piece to cover up her back. So just do a curved line at the top and then two straight lines. And perfect. Just take this last little Play-Doh piece and we'll attach it to our back. Just squeeze it on and then press in the sides just so that it connects from the back Play-Doh piece to the front Play-Doh piece. Now that we're done making the top of the dress, let's make the bottom. With the bottom I'm using green Play-Doh, so you can think of this as either green flower petals or it could be just leaves. And use your little cutting tool again. We're going to cut out little flower petal shapes and I need about eight of them. Let's see one two three four five six seven eight. Perfect. Now I can add all the leaf pieces to make a skirt. So just add them one by one. You want to squeeze the leaf just at the top of the dress and you want to layer it too just to make a really thick full skirt for her. So I'm already layering them just right up front here and just keep on spinning the doll around and add more leaves. You want to cover up everything. And you can smush the Play-Doh to cover up the skin. Cover up her backside here. Layer some more. And this looks like a pixie dress. The skirt is loosely based off of Tinkerbell's skirt. I am done making the dress portion of Princess Anna's fairy costume, but now I have to make her wings. To make the fairy wings, just roll out some white Play-Doh and I'm using my Play-Doh knife to cut out the wing. Normally fairy wings are really long on top and then shorter on the bottom. But since this is made out of Play-Doh, the Play-Doh is pretty flimsy and it kind of flaps over a little bit. So I can't make these wings as long as I normally would like to for fairy wings. So for that reason, I'm making them kind of smaller and you cut them out in kind of a butterfly shape. Next, you can draw some little designs in it. You can do any kind of designs you'd like. I'm just doing some little squiggly lines. I'll add some dots. And once you're done designing it, we can attach it to the Barbie doll. Okay, Anna, you will no longer be Princess Anna. You will now be Princess Fairy Anna. Here's your wings. You just press it pretty hard to her body just so they stay. Now her fairy dress is complete. Let's take a look. I like her little wings. They're so cute. And I love the little poofy leaf skirt. Anna makes a really adorable fairy, and I think it kind of fits her personality, too. Let's take a look at her little Barbie shoes, too. They're silver. In the comments section, let me know which fairy costume you like more, Elsa's or Anna's. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today I'm going to show you how to turn Elsa into a fairy using Play-Doh. I had a request to make a Play-Doh fairy Barbie outfit, and I'm so happy I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I loved making this, and I think it turned out beautifully. To start, we'll roll out some hot pink Play-Doh for the top. I'm going to make her top in two pieces, so for the front we want to cut an angle. Kind of make it like a house roof shape and then go down with some straight lines. And it really just kind of looks like a front of a house. 
And then I'm going to use this little Play-Doh tool to cut a little wavy edge. And then if you don't have this tool, you can just use straight lines or you can take your knife and then cut in and out to make a little wavy look. And I'm doing this just to make it look more like rougher fabric. Then I'll take the piece that I just made and we'll put on Elsa. Just stick it to her body and this will be pretty form-fitting. So just press it to her skin. We'll lift up her arms here. Here we go. And press it in on the sides just so it's tight. There we go. It's kind of a cool design. Next I'll roll out some light pink Play-Doh and we'll use this as a little ribbon to hold up the top of her dress. Just wrap this ribbon around her neck and then in the middle we'll attach it to the top right here. And this could be optional, you don't have to have it, but I think it adds some nice decorative detail. So I'm adding it and then in the back we have these two little strings. Just kind of fold them over each other just to make it look like you tied a knot. And there you go. To finish up her top, you need to make the back, so I'm going to draw a little curved line, so like a scooped back, and then straight lines on the side and bottom. We'll rip that out, and then I'll use my little cutting tool again to make a little fringe. Now that the back's cut out, I can attach it. Just press it in on the sides, make sure it matches up, and ta-da! We are now done with the top of Elsa's fairy outfit, and honestly, I think hot pink looks really good on Elsa, and I really like the style of the top, so I'm excited to do the skirt now. For Elsa's fairy skirt, I rolled out a bunch of hot pink Play-Doh, and I'm going to use my little roller cutting tool again, and I'm going to trace out some flower petal shapes, and try to make them different sizes. You can have some thicker ones and some thinner ones. They don't have to be perfect. Now that I have the flower petals cut out, I can attach them. I'm going to add a lot of petals, so we're going to layer them a little bit too. Let's see, I'll add a petal to this side, and obviously we need a lot more petals than what I cut out, so let's roll out some more dough and cut out some more petals. I cut out four petals originally, so I think if we cut out another four, each should be enough. Alrighty, let's add some more petals, and obviously my pattern for the skirt is kind of based off of Tinkerbell's skirt, which is really nice and poofy, and so that's why we have a lot of petals. So I'm going to just layer these petals on top of some of the other petals, and you want it to kind of poof out a little bit, be a nice thick skirt. And since it is Play-Doh, you can't add too much though, just because it will lay her down and fall off. Okay, and one more petal, I'll just stick it on the front here, and we're done with the skirt. Here's Elsa's fairy dress so far. I really, really love it. The top is so sleek and the bottom is nice and poofy and it looks like flower petals. I even like her little Barbie shoes too. And now for the part that I'm almost most worried about, I had to cut out her fairy wings. For the wings, I just rolled out some white Play-Doh and then we're going to cut into it. We'll cut kind of like a butterfly shape. And I know for fairy wings, normally they're really, really long. But since this is Play-Doh and it's flimsy, unfortunately I can't make them that long. So these are going to be pretty small fairy wings. And for the wings, I'm also going to just use my Play-Doh knife and draw some little designs in it too. Once the fairy wings are decorated how you want it to be, you can stick it on the back of Elsa's body. Just press the Play-Doh pretty firmly just to her back. And you see the wings are already kind of falling down a little bit. You have to press it pretty hard and that's why I couldn't make really big wings. And now Elsa is officially a fairy! I love her beautiful dress. Thank you so much again for the recommendation. And here's her back with the wings. And here's a better look at her skirt too. I just love it. Honestly, I think this might be one of my favorite Play-Doh outfits I've ever made. Click on a picture to watch another fun Play-Doh Barbie dress video by Disney Car Toys. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching and have a great day.